Uh, so distinct until change. Um, this one's actually really va uh, valuable, and I'll show you kind of a UI use case. Um, uh, we're only going to emit distinct values from the source. So it's kind of a cross between a filtration and a rate limiting, oper rate limiting operator. Uh, allows op uh, com comparator uh, function to be used to determine the uniqueness. Uh, so otherwise, it just does a strictly strict equality check by default if no comparator is provided. And some of the other operators that you might look at alongside of this is distinct and distinct until key change. Let me show you an example in the app. Okay. So if I'm adding a hero, uh, I'm going to get my power so you'll see that. Uh, get request come along. And then if I do super, I'm going to debounce this. I think we'll look at that in a second if I remember. Um, so it's not going to be on every keystroke. It's basically going to be after a certain time has passed and the value that's emitted is different. Um, but if I do super, let me clear this out. So if I do super, oh, let me start over, sorry. So if we do super, we're going to go ahead and do a network request, right? But I'm going to do a distinct until change. So I think I have like a half a second debounce on this. So if I do delete, delete, ER, it doesn't fire again because it's not, it's, it's not distinct. So it's a way to avoid repetitive. So it's kind of that cross between a filtration and a rate limiting operator. Did that make sense? But if I do like <coughs> super, it's going to do a network request. And if I go back, that's obviously different than the previous one. Uh, and we can see that in the code. Mm, I think it's in this one. Yeah. Uh, so here's where I'm getting my filtered characters. Uh, I'm using reactive forms in Angular. So I'm um, getting the value out of that name, which is that uh, text input. Uh, and then I'm subscribing to the value changes observable. And I'm going to pipe that to debounce it. That's that uh, 500 millisecond debounce, so I'm not hitting on every keystroke. Uh, and then I'm going to do distinct until changed. So that way, uh, we're only going to fire that when it's unique. And then I'm just going to do a switch map to basically filter out and stuff. So it's, it's pretty simple. And then you can also provide it a function where if you don't want to just do a strictly uh, strict equality check, if you want to check for uh, maybe something within that object or whatever, you can do that as well. 